Hey guys, my name is Jacob Dickinson, and I just wanted to get on here. I've never done something like this and share my pedal board, share my tones, uh, how I get them. I don't go in crazy depth, so if you want to know more about uh, how I dial in certain things, um, let me know. Uh, but I also, part two of this, I'll go through a board that I built just uh, from donated pedals and discounted pedals for students to use and learn on and grow on, but also just a backup for our Sunday bands. Uh, but and a little bit of heart behind why good guitar tone matters, especially in a worship environment. Because, so our church has a saying that says, every Sunday matters. And in short, what that means is there may be someone coming to our church that is just giving God one more shot. And that's the honest truth. Maybe there's someone that has never got given God a shot. You know, maybe there's someone that has never experienced the presence of the Lord. And so uh, having a uh, good guitar tone is leads to not distracting <laughs> equals not distracting from so me as a, as a worship pastor and production team and our staff we prepare so that our service has minimal distractions in it no distractions uh, at best but the enemy loves distractions it loves bad guitar tone or little mistakes here and there bad transitions and that takes our uh, just worldly minds off of what is happening in the room or what the Lord is speaking to us in the moment. Uh, and so every Sunday matters and every Sunday guitar tone matters as well. Uh, and so go chase the tone, but remember, don't make it an idol in your life. Uh, I've been there. Uh, it is not about uh, the pedals, it is not about the guitar, it is about our hearts uh, in worship. And that's why we do it. But aside from all of that, that's just a little heart behind why we worship, why guitar tone matters. Let's jump into the pedal board. Here we go. All right, welcome to the board. Uh, this is my setup right now, and I'm very content with it um, right now, as all guitarists are of their pedal boards all the time. No, I, I, in all seriousness, this has been my board for a little bit now. Uh, and I've really been enjoying it, and, and it just it works for me. It keeps all the distractions away and just allows me to lead. So uh, starting with the Line 6 Relay, I have a wireless system on my board because, uh, especially with leading worship, um, it is important for me just to be able to walk on stage and start playing, uh, especially for like dismissal or response. And so uh, not having to worry about a cable into my board has, has been a game changer. Uh, and so... That goes into this Keeley Compressor Plus. Great uh, compressor for the money, not too expensive. I have it set to, you know, pretty towards the clean blend side, uh, volume a little bit past noon, uh, and sustain not down a little bit, but this is with it off. It really just helps my heavy hand for the most part. So that's without it. I can hit. So as you can see, I keep that always on, honestly, uh, and I'm still able to get some dynamics uh, with this setup, and so I'm really loving that one. Next is the volume pedal. I've really been enjoying this uh, volume pedal just because for its form factor, and it does a great job. I'm, I love the sweep on it. Uh, out of the tuner, out into the Rockstock Nano. Get this on Amazon, it's like 50 bucks. It saves a ton of space on your board, and it's great. Uh, and so, especially for coming out of a, a tuner out because this is the switch and that's not gonna last. But I just have it always on uh, and it does a great job. Uh, and so out of my volume, I have my overdrive. So I've had it to where I have my overdrives before my volume, but I'm someone that loves to swell into my overdrives. Uh, and especially for ambient swells, like getting that clean to gritty, uh, just balance. Uh, is always great. Uh, and so volume pre overdrives into the Golden Boy. Right now I'm really just using it for the boost uh, and overdrive if I, if I need it. Uh, this is a pedal that kind of comes in and out uh, to where I can just kind of put whatever I want here. Uh, King of Tone next, Analog Man. If you know, you know, it is great. Right now I have both sides set to 
uh, overdrive. I'm not going to spend too much time on it. Uh, the yellow side never turns off, uh, and I love it. So this is uh, this is it, just with the yellow side. Very dry right now because we haven't gotten the reverb, but there's that. Uh, I can kick on the red side just for more harmonically rich overdrive. So just the yellow side. Boost it. Drive it. Next is the Stratus by Chaos Audio. Go check them out. Uh, they are doing some really cool stuff. It's a multi-effect that you control with your phone. Uh, Bluetooth apps to it so you can control all the different settings. You can do from fuzz overdrives. They have some incredible overdrives. They just collabed with uh, Snowball Tone, the Daily Driver, uh, all the stuff. And so they have reverbs, delays, modulation, EQ, boost, uh, really all sorts of things in this thing. And I'm still playing around with it. Uh, and eventually I'm probably just going to do a mini board with this, uh, my reverb, and an amp and just call it that. Uh, because they got compressors, all sorts of things, and you can put them all in a chain uh, at once and control it via MIDI. So it's super cool. Uh, I mostly use this for like vibrato. Very subtle. Uh, I just have it slightly on. If I need some crazier stuff, I can double tap it. And then I also have tremolo. Crazier tremolo that I never use. Uh, next is the delay. Uh, right now, since I'm running stereo, uh, I do have it ping pong back and forth. Uh, but um, honestly, that's just for fun. A lot of times, if I'm running mono, I'll just do, I'll turn off the ping pong. Uh, it's just a normal delay. But here is my uh, just quarter note delay. as you hear that go back and forth in your headphones. And then dotted eight. And then I just go back and forth between those two. And then honestly, none of this is good without reverb. This is the revelation. This is my, I'm gonna turn off the delay. This is just the reverb. This is my normal setting that I have. Widens things out, sounds so good. That's honestly the key point to my tone is reverb. Dialing that in, go into the ambient setting. I mostly use this for picking because it's a little bit much if you start strumming with it, so. Throw a little vibrato on it, a little delay. I can get lost in that sound, and then I have a swell setting. And 
And I just love how that tapers off. It just tapers off so smoothly uh, and fades into the next preset if I have one. So then finally to my amp, I'm running the ACSS, the ACS-1 right now currently just because I love playing with stereo. But I've used the TC Electronics. Um, I forgot what that one's called. They just kind of came out with them. 150 bucks. I know Boss just released one. Uh, I've had a dream. But yeah, that is my board. And uh, let's switch over to the other board. And we are back. This is the board that uh, I have built for the church, just for students to use, or uh, just an extra board laying around. 90% of this stuff has been heavily discounted or just given to us, uh, donated. So huge shout out to Walrus, Seafoam, LPD, uh, Pedals, uh, and Pedal Train donated this, Revelation Cable Company for sending us some cables. Uh, just huge shout out to all of them. They, they have made this pedal board possible and it's honestly amazing. It sounds really, really good. Uh, and so let's, let's dive into it. Let's start with the, uh, the compressor. So the way I'm gonna attack this compressor is uh, I'm gonna turn the blend more towards the clean side, the attack to be slower, uh, let's keep the tone in the middle for right now. Volume just a, like right at 12 o'clock, we'll start there. And then the sustain about at nine o'clock and see how that sounds. So no compressor. Big, big difference between my neck pickup and my bridge pickup. So let's see if we can compensate for that. So neck pickup, maybe bring the blend up a little bit. I think that's good. We, we'll work with that. And then, but let's go over here to ACS1 because we don't have as many overdrive sounds as I did on my board. So let's set up this. I'm not really loving the sound I have here. Uh, and so let's turn up the gain a little bit, turn down the volume to compensate. Let's stop the buzzing. Uh, turn up the gain, turn down the volume. Uh, we are on the Fender sound. Um, and let's turn up a little bit of room. Treble, mids, down a little bit, and bass up. So let's try that. Already loving that so much more. And so now we're able to stack on top of that uh, with the uh, low Tide by Seafoam. This will be my first stage. Let's try all knobs at noon to start. That is a good sounding pedal. Just having that. Just... That's good. Uh, and then let's move on to boosting it with this uh, nascent. I'm not sure how to say that, uh, but let's try, see what this is all about. <laughs> And that's honestly all the gain you're gonna ever need. So this is your uh, stage one. Stage two. And then if you need it, lead line, stage three. Awesome. Uh, then we go to the Julia.
No vibrato. Can just be very subtle. Just adds a little bit of movement in there. Uh, let's go to the, uh, this is the Slavta. Uh, as you guys saw in my other, with my pedal board, I love a reverb that I can have multiple sounds within it. So this is one that has three presets uh, and I set them up just like my other overdrive to where it's a normal, ambient, and swells. So here's my normal sound. Ambient. And swells. I'd probably turn the mix up a little bit on that. Beautiful. I'll save that. And then we can go back to our normal. And some delay. We're just gonna do a regular quarter note delay, uh, analog quarter note delay with just a minimum repeats. Let's just hear what that sounds like without the reverb. That's usually about where I set it, just kind of subtle. Couple repeats, and then uh, with the reverb. Throw in some drive. But just playing around with it um, and going from there. So hopefully that helps. Let me know if you got any questions. I know I didn't go into detail about too much, uh, but just telling, telling you about signal chain, how I like to set up things, uh, just using sound examples. But uh, let me know if you have any questions or if I need to go in depth on anything, I'd love to chat. Uh, see y'all.